Today, we're diving deep into one of the most fascinating topics in modern military aviation. Fifth generation fighter jets. What exactly makes these aircraft so revolutionary? What separates them from their predecessors? And why do nations around the world invest billions of dollars to develop and acquire these technological marvels? The term fifth generation might sound like marketing jargon, but it represents a genuine leap in combat aviation technology. These aren't just faster or more maneuverable versions of older jets. They're fundamentally different machines that have redefined air combat for the 21st century. The most immediately recognizable feature of fifth generation fighters is their stealth capability. But stealth isn't just about having an unusual shape. It's a comprehensive approach to reducing an aircraft's detectability across multiple spectrums. Radar cross-section reduction is the primary focus. Traditional fighter jets like the F-15 or F-16 have radar signatures roughly equivalent to a small truck. Fifth-generation fighters like the F-22 Raptor have radar signatures comparable to a marble or small bird. This dramatic reduction is achieved through several engineering approaches. The aircraft's shape is designed using computational fluid dynamics and radar modeling to deflect radar. Waves away from the transmitting source. Angular surfaces, internal weapon bays, and carefully designed air intakes all contribute to this effect. The materials used in construction also play a crucial role. Radar absorbing materials and specialized coatings help to absorb rather than reflect incoming radar signals. But stealth extends beyond just radar. These aircraft are designed to minimize their infrared signatures as well. Heat from engines is dispersed and cooled before being expelled, it's making it harder for heat-seeking missiles to lock onto the aircraft. Even the exhaust nozzles are specially designed to reduce thermal signatures. Visual stealth is another consideration. Fifth-generation fighters often employ paint schemes and surface treatments that make them harder to spot visually, especially at the distances where modern air combat typically occurs. Perhaps even more revolutionary than stealth is the sensor fusion technology that defines fifth-generation aircraft. These jets don't just carry better sensors, they integrate all their sensors into a unified picture that gives pilots unprecedented situational awareness. The F-35 Lightning II, for example, features the electro optical Distributed Aperture System, which consists of six infrared cameras positioned around the aircraft. These cameras provide 360-degree coverage and can detect and track multiple targets simultaneously. The system can even allow pilots to see through the aircraft by displaying imagery from cameras below. The plane onto the pilot's helmet display. Active electronically scanned array radars represent another major advancement. Unlike traditional mechanically scanned radars, AESA radars can track multiple targets simultaneously while also performing electronic warfare functions. They can rapidly switch between different modes, acting as a radar, communication system, and jamming device almost instantaneously. The real power comes from how all these sensors work together. The aircraft's computers continuously process data from radar, infrared sensors, electronic warfare systems, and data links with other aircraft and ground stations. This creates a comprehensive tactical picture that's shared with the pilot through advanced display systems. Fifth-generation fighters aren't designed to operate alone. They're built to function as nodes in a larger network of military assets. This network-centric approach multiplies their effectiveness exponentially. Through secure data links, these aircraft can share targeting information, coordinate attacks, and even engage targets detected by other platforms. An F-35 might detect a surface-to-air missile site with its sensors. Relay that information to a distant B-2 bomber, which can then engage the target without ever appearing on enemy radar. This networking capability also enables what's called cooperative engagement. Multiple aircraft can work together to triangulate enemy positions, share sensor data to see through enemy jamming, or coordinate simultaneous attacks from multiple angles. The integration with other military systems is equally important. These aircraft can receive targeting data from satellites, ground-based radar systems, and even unmanned aerial vehicles. They can also serve as communication relays, extending the reach of military networks into contested airspace. The cockpit of a fifth-generation fighter bears little resemblance to earlier aircraft. 
large multifunction displays have replaced dozens of individual gauges and switches. Touchscreen interfaces allow pilots to quickly access and manage complex systems. The helmet-mounted display systems are particularly impressive. These systems overlay critical flight and targeting information directly onto the pilot's visor, allowing them to maintain situational awareness without looking down at cockpit displays. In the F-35, the helmet display can show imagery from the aircraft's external cameras, effectively making the aircraft transparent to the pilot. Voice recognition and artificial intelligence assistance help pilots manage the incredible complexity of modern air combat. These systems can respond to voice commands, provide automatic threat warnings, and even suggest optimal tactics based on the current situation. The flight control systems themselves represent a major advancement. These aircraft use fly-by-wire technology with multiple redundant computers managing every aspect of flight. The computers can make thousands of adjustments per second, maintaining stable flight, even in situations where human reflexes would be inadequate. While not universal among all fifth-generation fighters, Supercruise capability represents a significant tactical advantage. Supercruise allows an aircraft to maintain supersonic speed without using afterburners, which consume enormous amounts of fuel and create icily detectable infrared signatures. The F-22 Raptor can supercruise at approximately Mach 1.7, allowing it to rapidly close distances with targets or quickly exit dangerous situations. This capability also enables the aircraft to launch air-to-air -air missiles with higher kinetic energy, extending their effective range. The engines themselves incorporate advanced technologies like thrust vectoring, which allows for unprecedented maneuverability. Thrust vectoring nozzles can redirect engine exhaust to help the aircraft turn, pitch, or roll more aggressively than would be possible with aerodynamic controls alone. These propulsion systems are also designed to be more maintainable and reliable than their predecessors. Advanced materials and manufacturing techniques have reduced the frequency of engine overhauls while improving overall performance. Unlike earlier generations of fighters that were often specialized for air-to-air -air or air-to-ground missions, Fifth-generation aircraft are designed from the ground up to excel in multiple roles. The F-35, for instance, can engage enemy aircraft, strike ground targets, provide close air support, and conduct reconnaissance missions, all within the same sortie. This multi role capability is made possible by the advanced sensor systems and flexible weapon systems. The same radar that tracks enemy aircraft can also create high-resolution ground maps for precision strikes. The aircraft's computers can rapidly switch between different mission modes, adapting to changing battlefield conditions. The internal weapon bays can accommodate a variety of munitions, from air-to-air -air missiles to precision-guided bombs. Some fifth-generation fighters can also carry weapons externally when stealth isn't critical, dramatically increasing their payload capacity. Modern air combat is as much about electronic warfare as it is about kinetic weapons. Fifth-generation fighters integrate electronic warfare capabilities directly into their basic systems rather than relying on external pods or separate aircraft. These aircraft can detect, analyze, and counter enemy electronic systems. They can jam enemy radars, disrupt communications, and even inject false information into enemy networks. The AESA radars mentioned earlier can function as powerful jammers when not actively searching for targets. The integration of electronic warfare systems with the aircraft's other sensors creates opportunities for sophisticated deception tactics. An aircraft might use its electronic warfare systems to create false targets on enemy radar while remaining hidden through its stealth characteristics. Despite all this advanced technology, the human pilot remains crucial to fifth-generation fighter operations. However, the pilot's role has evolved significantly. Rather than simply flying the aircraft and operating weapons, pilots now manage complex systems. Complex, make tactical decisions based on vast amounts of processed information and coordinate with other elements of the military network. The training for fifth-generation fighter pilots is correspondingly intensive. Pilots must master not just traditional flying skills, but also systems management, electronic warfare, and network operations. Simulator training has become increasingly important, allowing pilots to practice scenarios that would be too dangerous or expensive to replicate in real aircraft. 
The capabilities that define fifth-generation fighters continue to evolve. Artificial intelligence is playing an increasingly important role, helping pilots process information and make decisions more quickly. Future systems may include even more advanced sensors, improve stealth characteristics, and enhance networking capabilities. Some experts are already discussing sixth-generation fighter concepts, which might include features like optionally manned operation, directed energy weapons, and even more advanced artificial intelligence systems. Fifth-generation fighters represent far more than incremental improvements over their predecessors. They embody a fundamental shift in how air power is conceived and employed. Through stealth technology, sensor fusion, network integration, and advanced avionics. These aircraft have created new possibilities for military operations, while rendering many traditional air defense systems obsolete. The combination of these technologies creates synergistic effects that make the whole greater than the sum of its parts. A fifth-generation fighter isn't just stealthy or well-networked or highly maneuverable. It's all of these things simultaneously creating unprecedented capabilities that have reshaped modern warfare. As we've seen, the power of fifth-generation jets lies not in any single technology, but in how all these advanced systems work together to create something truly revolutionary. These aircraft represent the current pinnacle of military aviation technology, and they continue to evolve as new threats emerge and new technologies become available. The investment in these systems by nations around the world demonstrates their recognition that air superiority in the 21st century will be determined. Not just by pilot skill or aircraft performance, but by the ability to see first, understand the battlefield completely, and act decisively within a networked military environment. That's what makes fifth-generation fighters so powerful, and that's why they represent the future of air combat.